IMSA fans, we are fortunate to have the president, John Doonan, here in front of this pretty awesome technical inspection transport of the amazing men and women of IMSA. Make sure everything's getting ready to go before the Mobile One 12 hours of Sebring on Saturday. As we spoke about in Daytona, what is this year, 2024? It's the year of GT in IMSA. So why don't we look at some of these incredible models here, but there's a lot of manufacturers involved to start. Yeah, first of all, hard to believe we're at the 72nd running of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring. Mobile One, in fact, celebrating a very special 50th anniversary this year. So thanks to them and proud of them. But you're right, this is our technical inspection scrutineering hub. Um, this action here is part of leveling that playing field, making sure all the cars are in compliance from safety checks to uh, everything in the regulations. But 11 of 18 manufacturers that compete in IMSA are in the GTD or the GTD Pro category. So um, the best of the best from around the world and such a huge variety of cars um, that gives our fans the opportunity to touch and, and see all of their favorite cars, drivers and teams. Sun is shining on one of them. And as you mentioned, some of your technical inspectors look at the safety side, this amazing, you mentioned Mobile One 50th anniversary, special gold livery here for the Vassar Sullivan Lexus RCF GT3. What a beauty under the sun here, John. But we can say that about all the GT models in the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. You look at the Ferrari here right behind it, gorgeous red, white, and blue livery dressed on it. And these Ferrari two, nine, six, twin turbo, crazy technology. These are fan favorites as well. Yeah, stunning new car. Of course, the Lexus team, the champions from last year with the red number plates and the red end plates signifying GTD, GTD Pro. Pro. Um, so excited for them to defend their title. You're right, the 296, uh, absolutely stunning car. Uh, also in the Ferrari Challenge uh, 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 program, which, which IMSA sanctions, 296 Challenge car yeah. coming this year. Um, but A, of course, uh, bringing a couple cars, um, Triarci, of course, and uh, uh, see well. uh, Rolex 24 winners. You can tell with the green as well, that tells you it's GTD instead of GTD Pro. And right here, our friends, they sure know how to have fun. Magnus Racing, this Aston Martin, this Vantage, it's AMR, it's GT3, it's Evo. It is just so many things at once. Another super high-tech car, this one out of England, twin turbo configuration as well. Yeah, one of three Astons in the field, of course, uh, Heart of Racing uh, brings two cars, one in GTD Pro, one in GTD. And uh, of course, the Magnus Group and, and John Potter, longtime stakeholder here, uh, bringing the veterans, Andy Lolly, Spencer Propelli, uh, traditionally guys that uh, are known very well uh, among IMSA fans. And you also know when you're looking at a Ferrari, because most likely it's going to have some very distinctive, bright colors. How do you not love what's going on here with the Chetelar team, of course? A little bit of day glow green going on. And then we look and we have some shininess. We have some great metallic options here. You mentioned the Triarci team, yet another Ferrari 296. The variety too. If you might love this model, John, great, but they're going to be dressed in so many different ways for the fans. Yeah, and I also think uh, one of the neat stories on Triarci is they're a Ferrari dealer. Mm. They're the Central Florida, uh, I believe Orlando officially is their address. Um, you're, you're seeing a dealer tie into both uh, the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship uh, with a manufacturer. They're in the Ferrari Challenge with a manufacturer. Um, so those tie-ins, I think, are, are quite unique and things that you go to that dealership, besides the current road car product, there's a ton of motorsports presence in the dealership. Royalty in sports car racing, Porsche 911 GT3R. This from our friends at Andretti, right? Yes. Great team. Great talent here spinning. A lot of open wheel talent, right? Between Scott Hargrove came in, Gabby Chavez, but Jared Andretti, son of our beloved friend, late friend, John Andretti, so important to us. But yes. this iconic Porsche model as well, this too, so important to the series. But I'm already starting to lose track of how many manufacturers we've been across. We're not even halfway there yet, John. But yeah, I think the other cool story, uh, 
in, in case of the, the 9-11 and its, its uh, iconic presence in IMSA. And I think you and I both know back in 1983, a Porsche 9-11 GT car won overall yes. here. Certainly several before that. I think the Brumos uh, Porsches did it as well in the 70s. But uh, to have uh, Jared and the Andretti folks uh, with us uh, full season is, is really a, a special opportunity for us. And obviously they bring Porsche with them in 2024. And just look at this line of amazing GT cars. I was not a math major in school. I can't count how many millions <laughs> worth of incredible fantasy GT3 based machines we've seen already, John but there's a lot more. Why don't we go check them out? Yeah, there is. And I think the GT3 platform itself um, is something that we um, made a decision on early because of the cost effective nature of uh, the cars being homologated globally, um, allowing the manufacturers to not only have a factory endorsed program, if you will, but also customer racing. And that a business model then allows them to support um, independent teams and that's really foundational on, on what IMSA was, was established on, uh, allowing people to come and compete at all different levels. This beautiful tri-pointed little star here, Mercedes AMG GT3. So we have many long-standing big name entrants in the series but we also have some newer proud up-and-coming and rising entrants as well. This car from the Lone Star Racing Team fits that category perfectly. Amazing car. This Mercedes AMG GT3 wins constantly, is always challenging for victories. It's something where a Lone Star team knows if they get a hold of one, they can be instantly competitive, which is really important as well. Yeah, I mean, you look back at 2023, the WeatherTech uh, Racing Team won Daytona, won Indy, won Petite. A uh, team like Lone Star uh, can come in in the same car in the same manner and, and be immediately in the hunt. You have Preston Kartoff racing, always been a factor last several years. Um, really exciting to see what Mercedes AMG has done uh, in the WeatherTech Championship and in the Michelin Pilot Championship in GT4. So if you look at something super low slung like this or the Ferraris and then we turn our attention just right across the way to our friends at Paul Miller Racing, BMW M4 GT3 championship winning team as well. Of the many things I love about this model, John, it's not knee high like some of the other supercars. This is something that has a little bit more road relevance to what folks could buy, could yeah. possess, yet it can compete right up with the Ferraris and Lamborghinis and everyone else. No doubt, and again, that's what uh, is such a, a beautiful element of GT3 as a platform. Um, the cars are, are all homologated um, by the FIA. They all go to the wind tunnel uh, to be in an aerodynamic box. And then it's the responsibility of each of the championships that run them around the world to develop the balance of performance such that that low slung um, car that we saw, maybe Ferrari, Lamborghini, uh, can absolutely compete directly with the BMW M4 uh, GT3. So. Um, for the fans, again, I believe they're the biggest beneficiaries of this. Uh, they get to see their favorite brand battle uh, 11 others, or 10 others rather, in, in uh, GT3 competition. And the car corrals prove that too, because loaded throughout the Sebring grounds, there's Corvette, BMW, run down the list. Yep. So many fans of IMSA show up in their version of these cars perfectly polished and shine and presented the right way for folks to look at. So it's not just the racing folks love here. They love bringing their own and showing off a little yeah, bit Yeah, of course, Corvette has done a tremendous job with, with Corvette Nation. Uh, there's a Porsche Corral, there's BMW Corrals, there's been Lexus Corrals. Uh, Lamborghini has a huge presence here as well this weekend. So you're right, um, and early in the morning or at lunchtime or late at night, you'll see those owners getting a chance for a parade lap mm. around the circuit as part of their uh, participation with us. So um, it is all, uh, to your point at the opening, about the manufacturers and how they're celebrating their participation on the track through either a dealership or a car corral, and it really ties it all together. So as always, John, we have the world famous yellow factory Corvettes. I think my eyes are playing tricks on me though, <laughs> my friend. Uh, 
gosh, are these gorgeous. Yeah, you know, I've always been an advocate of uh, special liveries when it's relevant. And in this case, it's very relevant. Our uh, entitlement partner of the race, Mobile One, celebrating their 50th anniversary this year um, as a brand. Uh, what better way to do it? Uh, a special livery on, on the Corvette racing entries in GTD Pro, as well as the Lexus in GTD Pro. Uh, love that for the participants and love that for Mobile One. We even have duckies on the roof. Yeah. I believe those are homologated duckies, so we should be good to go there, but how beautiful are these machines? And a new GT3 pro customer entry, as well as the factory entry, but uh, the car's available worldwide, competing uh, here in uh, North America in the WeatherTech Championship, as well as uh, uh, several other championships around the world. John Duna, we're talking prancing horses, we're talking the Blue Oval, we're talking Mustang, we're talking America. We just saw some Corvettes. Now we're seeing their arch enemy, but we love these in-state rivals from Michigan, the factory Ford performance team, glorious addition to the GT3 grid in 2024. A big history with Mustang and IMSA. In fact, I look back at the entry list uh, for the very first IMSA race at VIR, and of course, um, Porsche 914 won that race, but there was a Mustang on the grid, and as you mentioned, long history with the Ford brand and IMSA. Um, and what is really special about what Ford's done now to, to cap off their Mustang involvement at different levels with a GT3 car. Of course, this is the factory endorsed effort with, with the pro drivers in GTD, but there's customer teams in GT. Uh, D as well. And that's a massive part of GT3 racing in IMSA. 100%. In addition, the, the step below is GT4, which runs in the Michelin Pilot Challenge, which of course, Multimatic, the engineering firm, has a key role in, in this process. In addition, in June, the Ford Mustang Challenge <laughs> uh, series will uh, be debuting at Mid-Ohio, and now you have this system for drivers, for engineers, mechanics, teams, to grow within the Ford family of, of Mustangs on the road racing side. So I know Mark Rushbrook, I know Jim Farley have really preached that message of being able to grow people from first time they're in a race car up to this top level. Also with, within this greater family here with so much involvement coming out of Canada, our friends there helping to facilitate this, one of the wildest and our favorite people in the paddock, Larry Holt of Multimatic. Fans get to see the race cars, the gift behind the scenes. We get Larry Holt. Yeah. What, a, what a great guy. Obviously uh, a longtime stakeholder in IMSA competition, um, but what Multimatic has done for the sport in touching so many programs, obviously they were the, the, the spine behind the Porsche 963. Um, they're involved in uh, Aston Martin Valkyrie, uh, AMG Project One, of course, uh, in my previous life, uh, the, the RT24 DPI. So um, you love it when you see a company that's so involved in the day-to-day -day automotive industry, big tier one supplier, also celebrating what they do for the auto industry at the racetrack, and also demonstrating what they do in the auto industry at the racetrack. The most punishing place to test eventual road car component is here at the racetrack. John, we have another incredible portion of our GT paddock, McLaren 720S GT3. This looks like it's a spaceship. So high tech. Again, it seems like it comes up to barely your knee, loaded with technology. The looks are amazing yet again plays equally with cars of all sizes in GT3. Yeah, you know, we just spent some time with a Ford Mustang GT3. Obviously, a little bit taller stance and maybe a little bit wider stance. And then you bring a, a sleek GT3 car to the table here with gullwing doors and, and that type of thing. And again, that's the variety that GT3 brings uh, as a rules platform. And what we've done with GTD Pro is allowed the brands that want to have a pro driver lineup, a factory endorsed effort, if you will, they've got GTD Pro. GTD is for that pro and then a, a silver bronze pairing. And so um, really excited about that because in the end, the performance level, the target performance window for both of the classes is the same. So at the end of the race, you put all the pros in and you have at it, boys and girls pretty amazing. Plus, we get the mayor of Hinchtown 
James Hinchcliffe. I mean, come yes. on. Any class that brings Hinch back to IMSA, I'm good. Super good with that. We have lots of color, as you would expect from Lamborghini. This Iron Lynx, Iron Dames initiative, so important to us. This Huracan platform, so successful as well, plugged into a global network of development for drivers moving on to the World Cup there through the Lamborghini Super Trofeo series. But here in GTD, these cars are really impressive as well, and they're gorgeous to look at. Yeah, incredible sound and in, in what uh, the Iron Lynx and Iron Dames group have done uh, globally, but most recently uh, in IMSA is, is remarkable. Um, incredibly incredibly proud to have the Iron Dames, one of the uh, all-female lineups that we have in GT racing. Obviously the other being the Gradient uh, Acura um, program, but um, this brand now staple in GT, staple in Super Trofeo, and for the first time in IMSA competition they joined the GTP ranks this weekend. Phenomenal. In our No Particular Order Tour, we wrap things up at the top of the alphabet with our friends from Acura. This NSX GT3 Evo, very successful car here. Been around for a good long while. We know that every model starts to reach the end of its life and hopefully you have a new model coming, but we know for sure with Gradient Racing here in this Acura, another big contender in GTD. Yeah, multi-time champion uh, several years ago. Um, cars tried and true and uh, another brand that has had a strong GT presence with a customer racing program globally. And that of course caps it off with a GTP program. So you see a lot of that crossover, of course, BMW in the same manner, uh, the General Motors folks with Corvette and Cadillac. Um, and of course, uh, now Lamborghini, uh, Porsche. Um, I love the fact that a customer racing program exists and at the highest levels, uh, besides a GTD Pro, a GTP program uh, to cap off their involvement uh, in the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. 2024 is the year of GT and IMSA, and I'm not saying I want it to end, so maybe 2025 as well, but nonetheless, we are so fortunate to have so many amazing cars and drivers filling up so much of the WeatherTech Championship grid. Yeah, and it's, uh, again, that tie between the road car platform and what's happening on the racetrack, uh, whether it's directly the race car and the ties between what's learned from a power plant standpoint, from a design standpoint, or onto the car corrals or the displays on the midway, this has become the new auto show, um, certainly across uh, the United States, North America, and, and potentially the world. Make sure you follow along with us on IMSA's official YouTube channel and follow IMSA Racing on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and X. We're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff with some pretty cool people with some pretty cool race cars. Visit IMSA.com to hear the action called live and download the official IMSA app to follow the timing and scoring information as the sessions take place.